Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen and I'm the mom of two little boys, my youngest being four months old as of today actually. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the Halo Bassinet Glide Sleeper. Now this is not a sponsored video. My bassinet was gifted to me by my mother for my baby. So not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Uh, just an honest mom giving her honest opinions on this product. So I know it's a very popular bassinet, so I wanted to post this video in case you guys are thinking about getting one for yourself. So the Halo bassinet I think is awesome. I really loved it and enjoyed having it. Um, one thing I wish it had was extra sheets in the liner because when those get soiled, I mean, you gotta wash it, constant laundry, etc., etc. I don't know if you can buy extras of those. You probably can. I've never looked into it. But it would be nice if it came with two of them. Um, so, how this thing works is that it's got little feet at the very bottom of it that you can slide under your bed, and that way, when your baby wakes up in the middle of, uh, middle of the night, you can scoot baby closer to you, easily get them out of the bassinet, and have access to them. Uh, I was not able to use it like that because my bedroom is very, very small. So we just have the baby in the living room here, which is right outside of my bedroom door. And I was sleeping within just a couple of feet of him. I know, I know. What are you doing? What are you trying to roll over? What are you trying to roll over? So I had him very close to me, within like three feet away. But my room is so small, I could not fit the bassinet in. So I could not use it the way it was intended. But the thing that I love the most about the Halo bassinet is that it has mesh sidings. So I'm not sure how well you can see Ira right now, but he is trying to roll over. So you can see Ira right now, he's trying to roll over. He has his hands pressed, pressed up against the mesh lining and he's just wiggling around in here. At night, he likes to press his face into the mesh lining. And so I like that it's mesh because I feel safe having him sleep in here. I'm not worried about him suffocating against like a regular fabric paneling. So I think it has some really good safety features as far as the mesh lining is concerned. And he's been really happy to sleep in here. He hasn't had any complaints and he really seems to like it until recently. So as mentioned, my son is four months old now and he is starting to outgrow the bassinet. We're going to have baby talks this whole video. I'm sorry. Uh, he is starting to outgrow his bassinet. I think these are supposed to last you up until six months. However, my son is in the 90th percentile and at night he will try to stretch out and he can touch both sides of the bassinet with his arms and he's almost like head to toe in it. Super long. So he gets aggravated at night when he wakes up if he's pushing into the netting. So we've now transitioned him into his crib and he's loving it. But when he was littler, oh my gosh, he slept beautifully in it, never had any issues, seemed comfortable enough. Again, I love the breathable mesh. However, I will say if you have cats, be careful because they can get their claws stuck in this. I have a really big cat that's nearly 20 pounds and I was so afraid he was going to rip the side of it off. He tried to scratch it one time. Got a call caught. Thankfully, he did not rip the netting. So that says something about the netting. If a 20 pound cat can try to scratch it and isn't able to pull down and just gets an, a, a claw caught. But I would still be careful of that because mine attempted to scratch it. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you guys how this works. So in order to drop your bassinet, you're going to make sure that it's in the unlocked position. On either side of your bassinet, you have a little flap. You can pull your flap down. And you can see this little gray button right here. If you push it up, it'll lock your bassinet. If you push it down, then it's unlocked and you can bend it. So you have it here on both sides. Make sure both sides are unlocked before you go to bed at night. If you intend to use this for breastfeeding, and then you can pull down your bassinet. So then you can grab here on the side, and you can just push that right down and have super easy access to baby. Now, as mentioned, I never used this because I never had it in my bedroom so I had to get up at night. <laughs> but I think that's really nice if you're breastfeeding, make it easy to get a hold of baby and slide them into your bed to feed them really quickly. Um, this says glide handle on it. Really not sure what that's for, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't know, slide it in and out from under your bed, I guess. <laughs> so just to recap my thoughts on it, I've really enjoyed the Halo Bassinet. I definitely feel like it is an investment piece. It's well over $200 to purchase brand new. 
So I think that if you're having your very first baby and you plan to have several children, at least more than one, I think it would definitely be worth purchasing. Uh, otherwise, if you can get a second hand, or even if you're going to have uh, more kids and you can get a second hand, always go second hand. If you can, it's just going to be more affordable. And as mentioned, I was only able to use it for about four months, so there's no really wear or tear damage on mine, so I'm sure you can find second hand ones with no damage on them either. Uh, at best, you're supposed to be able to get like six months out of it. It's all going to be based on the size of your child. My son, as mentioned, he's in the 90th percentile. He's outgrowing it. He's getting mad at night because he's hitting the mesh. But having the mesh available when he was really little was awesome because when he was very first born, he wanted to sleep on his side and he'd press his face into the mesh paneling. And I didn't have to worry about him not being able to breathe. So I love, I just love the mesh paneling on here. I think it's like just fantastic. So um, it also has a little pocket here. I'm not sure that I mentioned it. I, I don't know what you'd put in there. Diapers and wipes maybe. Um, but I think this is a fantastic bassinet. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it if you can find one second hand and go that route. But that's my thoughts and opinions on the Halo Bassinet. And as far as second hand shopping goes, if you do choose to buy it brand new or second hand and you keep good care of it, this is definitely a piece that has some resale value to it. We're getting $100 out of it by selling it to a friend. And I know that if I sold it to a stranger, <laughs> I would probably jack the price up to like $150 and easily get that price point. So it has a good resale value on it. It's a great piece. It is an investment piece. It is a bit expensive. But we've just thoroughly enjoyed it. And I wish I would have had it for my firstborn. <laughs> but that's my thoughts and opinions on the Halo Bassinet. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video or found it inform informative. If you guys decide that you want to pick up your own Halo Bassinet, I'll leave a link to them down below. And I hope you guys decide to give this a big thumbs up so other people can find it if they're also interested in the Halo Bassinet. I hope you subscribe if you enjoyed my channel. It's full of lots of mommy vlogger type content. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.